I saw your invite, but unfortunately I cannot attend. Can you please send me the presentation? Has anyone ever asked you this question? Can you send me the presentation? What does it even mean? Usually they mean, can you please send over the PowerPoint presentation? If that's the same experience, why even do that presentation? Because if you do send over your PowerPoint to the person asking for the presentation, what happens? If they're able to read and follow your presentation from just having the PowerPoint, why even do the presentation in the first place? It doesn't make sense. So to solve this issue, you can do the following. What you do, you create two PowerPoint decks. So first of all, the slides that you bring to the presentation that will support your communication and your presentation visually. And second, you will create one PowerPoint deck that people are able to follow even if they have not been there. So there's a bit more information, a bit more background on the slides and more text. But of course, that's not something you want when you bring the slides to your presentation. Because then people will be reading the slides instead of paying attention to you. And if you don't have the time to create this second presentation, this reading document, I completely understand. But what you can still do in that case is to include in PowerPoint, you have a section with notes, with speaker notes. And there you can add in bullet points what you're about to say. This can also be a good way to prepare your presentation, not sharing the whole script, but in bullet points, kind of the voice over the most important points you want to cover in that slide. Because remember, PowerPoint is just a tool and you are the presentation.